bath. Now it doesn't have to be an ice bath. It can be a stream, it can be an ocean. It can be a cold river, it can be a lake. So physiologically, what is happening here? I was really hot. My body was trying to compensate for that. It was diverting blood away from my core to the periphery. The opposite is happening now. That's actually triggering my adrenals. Noradrenaline, catecholamines, dopamine, which helps you feel better. You have this calm relaxation state, but what it also does, my friends, getting cold, especially after being hot, is it increases your heart rate variability. Many studies show that people with anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, all sorts of mood disorders have low heart rate variability. That means they're not resilient. So small little stressors in the day, whether it's traffic, whether it's your spouse that you didn't get along with, whether it's your kid who's defying what you're trying to get them to do can bother you. So thermal stress, environmental extremes, both hot and cold, improve heart rate variability and resilience, which I think there's a deficiency. I know there's a deficiency of resilience. And